day or evening youtube we are back uh finishing off from the previous episode uh which was my introduction and my very first video to this channel so welcome back if you're tuning back in or you may be just on break and you need something to do or you're home looking for something to watch but yeah we are back we are level two so we're progressing um uh, not much Oh, we got three. So apparently I thought we had five eight coins from the previous video, but apparently we don't. Uh, we're sitting at 5,000 cash. Obviously, as you tune in, you'll basically be seeing the cash flow go up or the bait coins go up. So it's going to be something that you you can pay attention to if you're interested in how far I've gotten. Maybe you skipped a couple videos and wondering how I am doing and all that. So yeah, so... We are level 2, and I think I've figured out where to go. So apparently there's a missions up here. I thought that tutorial would have told me, hey, go to this location. But it doesn't seem to be doing so. So we are going to go to missions. Um, okay, so this is obviously the mission screen. So basically you get missions. So I was going to explain this side, but I'll, I'll, I'll hold off on that. So this is the Lone Star Exploration, number one. To become a true Lone Star Explorer, start to catch the list of fish in the lake. Okay, cool. So we'll now immerse into that. Um, it looks like the task is to travel back to Lone Star. I should technically say travel back. Uh, catch white crappy, catch a red ear sunfish, catch green sunfish, catch a bluegill, Catch a golden shiner, catch black tail shiner. So it looks like all of these are probably what we considered panfish. I don't know if a shiner is considered a panfish. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, so travel back to Lone Star. Okay. So now we get the globe. All right. Go back to Lone Star. You got to select it. Um, it looks like we are going into the very first day. I guess they're not going to explain that yet, so I'll, 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 if they don't explain it, I'll explain it. If it's missed, uh, I'll tell you how it works. Um, they did say species of fish that we were supposed to catch, so let's look at that again. Technically, in this, well, I mean, they did mention that from the mission thing, and this is where I feel like it will get overwhelming, and you will see exactly why it gets overwhelming in a couple minutes. Maybe a second, maybe a couple seconds. But yeah, here we go. We're going for the black shiner. Uh, you can read about the shiner's details. It basically tells you everything about it. I don't know if it's entirely on point, but this is what brought me into the game. When I read about the fish, I was actually really curious for my own area to know if this, what was said in here was true. It seemed to be accurate, but obviously when you're fishing and if you're not looking for those different structures, you're not looking into uh, the, the area of where you're fishing at. Like you don't know it's nature. You don't know what's under the water. You don't know what the water's murky. You don't know if the water's clear. Well, that's what kind of intrigued me. Some of it will tell you exactly. Uh, let's see if it says it. So here we go. So, well, this is what I mean. So at the minute, this minnow prefers flowing water. So obviously if it's in stagnant water, I'm not sure if this, this exact fish will like stagnant water. Um, obviously if you have a drought, you know that the water becomes stagnant if there's no flow to go into it. So yeah, hopefully uh, we can find out if there's a stagnant lake in this game that will have that. So maybe we'll see if that happens. Um, but that's something to keep an eye out for. Um, little vegetation, okay. So fast current, okay. So that way it keeps the algae from building up and things like that. That's good. But yeah, it tells you exactly what this fish is into. Um, and it gives you a distinguished feature, like you can tell how it looks. So if you're fishing and you actually catch this fish, maybe you've seen it from this game and actually were like, oh, this is a black tail china. Now, don't get confused because this has a brother. I'm considering a brother at this point. It almost looks like a goldfish. And that's what I would consider these. So, 
I don't know. You, you tell me. It, it kind of looks like a goldfish in a way. I mean, this one more. But yeah, so there's a black tail shiner and then there's a golden shiner. Yeah. So obviously two different distinguished fish have their own personality and traits. Length, centimeters, uh, weight. Uh, and it looks like they have similar baits. So obviously you get the baits. Um, we've got a bluegill. This kind of fascinated me when I read about the bluegill. Um, apparently you can catch ones that are 3.3 pounds. I never caught a 3.3 pound uh, bluegill. I've caught smaller, so I didn't even know about that. And I don't know if that's actually true in the real world. Maybe someone caught one and they could share it with me. I don't know. Um, let's see. Obviously they have more baits as you look. So as you get more, some of the fish have, sim have small baits, like small amounts that you can use, but they don't just tell you that there's also other baits that can be used to catch this. Like you can catch it on bread. You saw we were using bread. This doesn't say bread. And we caught this because it has a check mark right next to it. So there's things in this game where it doesn't tell you exactly what you can use, but if you try to find something along the lines, you probably will have luck with it. I, I don't see it telling me that inside of the tutorial yet, so we'll find out. But rest of this lake has catfish, obviously we call it that, grass pickerel, and there is a difference between pickerel, um, green sunfish, red ear sunfish. I didn't even know that there was a smallmouth buffalo. I didn't know that there was a different type of bass, so I just want to spot it. I'm only used to large and small mouth. That's it. Actually, I don't even think I've caught the small mouth. I don't know. That makes me think about where I've been living. Uh, and then obviously your white crappie, uh, which is common that I've caught a lot in real life. But yeah, so obviously these fish, and then you got different baits for each one. Uh, marshmallows is obviously new but we're not i don't know we'll have to figure it out so all right the back to the mission but that's the fish species category under here and it, i don't think it's going to tell you about that except for what's in the mission which catch white crappie and all these all right so let's go back i'm hoping it doesn't do me wrong because i didn't there's another piece that I'm, I'm unsure about, but we're going to go back. Alright. It's so frustrating. When you see that you know so much in advance, and uh, you're going back to this game, and then doing the tutorial, and you're not sure if they explain it, so you're just sitting there like, um, are you going to explain that so everyone watching can see it? And this is probably why I wanted to do this video series, because I want to show you what you're up against. Uh, so far, it's pretty good, but I'm just waiting to see if it actually explains everything in detail. When I was playing it back then, it didn't give me much of a detailed tutorial. It gave me the basic rundown, but the rest I had to figure out. And let me tell you, I used YouTube a lot to watch it back then. And I was thankful that they actually had people making videos on this game because it's not hyped up the way that you see most of these games nowadays hyped up to be. So this was definitely something off the beaten path of when I would play a game. Uh, and we could talk more about that later, but that's crazy how I found a video that someone made. And I don't remember the channel name. I just knew that I just needed to look for this particular thing. And I went and did it. And then they explained it more in there. So they had a learning experience. Because they probably played it since the game came out. And they were doing beta testing and everything like that. Alright, so let's pick a spot. Um, I'm thinking... Over here seems pretty good. That kind of looks like a spot that I would have fished at when I was at my hometown lake back in the day. And back in the day is not really that long because I'm not that old. Uh, Lone Star Ranger 1. Uh, enjoy exploring Lone Star Lake and its premises for a certain number of days to complete this challenge. 
Okay, good. Wait. Oh, we completed that. So we came back a second day. Okay. I got it. And I get 100 credits. Oh, uh, that pack is going to be it's so annoying. Hopefully it doesn't bug me too long. Is it not going to tell me how to do this? Am I going to have to show everyone what to do? Alright, let's just keep it like this. So far what we've learned was how to wait for the bob to bob, change the leader, run, collect, and drag setting. And we got a fish on. It didn't tell me to pull back though, which I'm curious why it didn't, or I'm wondering why it didn't tell me to do that. So now you have to, you know what, I'm trying it. Let's see what it does. But yeah, we learned the drag setting. We learned how to switch between uh, baits. Uh, it, yeah. We learned about the fish keep. We're getting a bite. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we when you hear that ding noise, there is a setting about this. Um, but yeah, so let's see if it does what I'm thinking it's gonna do. We had a ding. Why are you not, is the hook too big? No, it's a size eight. So what I mean by size eight is we chose a size eight hook, or no, we unlocked a six size six hook from level two, but we are using a size eight, which is what it seems like everyone is using when they first start. So uh, obviously, like I mentioned, one being the bigger the hook and six when I said it on the first video is now eight. Eight is now the smaller hook, and I believe it can go smaller, but I wouldn't recommend it, and I will explain why later on. Um, but right now, we're not uh, we're not explaining that yet. But yeah, so now we're playing the waiting game. So I think I will pick you up when I get a bite. All right. Well, normally from what oh, I am glad I unpaused recording at the perfect timing. <laughs> I was just getting ready to move the spot. Okay. So now we're gonna. Oh, strike. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey. See, I've never caught this fish. I'll bring up what I caught so far. Uh. All right. Cool. So we got a red ear sunfish, and we checked off one of the fish on this list over here. Uh. If you couldn't tell, this is where your task is. If you track it, before it told you to track them. Well. You saw me when I first started the video. Uh, I had to track the mission. That way I knew where I was going because it wasn't explaining to me where to go next. It just told me to pretty much leave the last video. Uh, so we left. Um, but yeah, so this is the track mission. I just caught the sunfish, so now it ticked it off. And we still got one, two, three, four more fish. And then we complete this exploration quest. Or mission, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Red ear sunfish, so half a pound. Eight, I don't know why it gives you that extra. I would just say 8.9 inches, or I would round it up to nine at this point. 31 bucks, still calling them bucks. And we'll keep it because apparently in this game you need money and the only way to get money is to keep the fish that you need. Later we'll show you some stuff where you don't want to keep things. And I'll explain more about the keeping. I love this spot. And I'm going to do with what we learned so far. So I'm going to decrease the uh, height of the bobber. Because I feel like this isn't that deep. I wish you can tell the depth. Oh, there's a fish jumping over there. Let's see if we can get that. Eh. Oh. Hey, fishy. Come to me. Psst. Come back. I saw you jump out of the water. Oh, there he is right there. I saw him. Oh, and we learned zoom. So, that zoom in and zoom out. Oh, see, it looks like a little goldfish. <laughs> a goldfish just plopping out of the water. <laughs> but yeah, see, alright, so basically what got me into this game, I didn't know the buttons to, like, zoom in and things like that. Hey, green sunfish. 
So we tick that off. So we got a new fish, and obviously when you get a new fish, uh, it's going to give you a personal record, and that basically is an indication that you're starting the size chart of the fish that you caught. So it doesn't appear to be explaining that, which obviously you probably wouldn't want to know about that. So if you want to know about it, it basically keeps your personal record on this lake. And you basically get to keep track of your bigger fish and your smaller fish. Before, in the first video, it said to move to the spot to catch a bigger fish. And then we moved to the spot and then we had to adjust our length from the bobber to the hook where it was floating on its side and we wanted to get it vertical up and down. So we had to reduce it to 19, in 19 inches, I think. So yeah, uh, and we called that trophy crappy, which obviously that was the trophy. And that was my record for catching the biggest crappy. We caught a couple crappy already. Well, actually, I don't even think we caught a couple crappy. I don't know. But yeah, so obviously new personal record, you get a personal record of that fish for this lake. I don't know if it follows through the other lakes I don't remember, but we'll find out. Uh, so green sunfish, I'm gonna guess that's one sixth of a pound. Uh, I don't n remember the fraction for 0.3. Um, or maybe it's one third, I might be wrong. Is it one third? I don't know, it's gonna bug me. No, that's 0.6. Maybe it is one sixth. I don't know, my head is fraction stuff. But yeah, we almost caught half a pound of sunfish. Uh, inches, 11 bucks. Four XP gain and obviously keep release uh, keep. It doesn't seem to be explaining more. Uh, let's see if we can catch all the little tasks here. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So you get to. Oh, you see the little fish? You just jumped. You get to see a good perspective of where you're fishing. Um, I don't know if other games that are fishing simulation uh, allow you to move freely and that's kind of what i wanted this open world feel of where you get to walk oh gotta fight strike hey we're catching them all there's that black tail shiner all right so a new personal best is 0.369 uh black shiner okay 23 bucks so 23 bucks for a shiner why is that higher than the sunfish that doesn't sound right. And that was pretty much the same same size as the sunfish I just caught. Uh, perform certain numbers of successful strikes in a row. Okay. Rewards one bean coin. And we're our lucky bobber. Alright. Cool. But yeah, you get to feel the open world experience, kind of. Even though you have to travel to a lake, but you still get that free roam kind of feeling where you get to walk to a spot uh, where it felt like, to me, you coming to the lake that you want to fish at in real life and you walking up to a spot, casting, uh, you get different angles of casting. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there's different angles in other games, but you get to cast it, um, cast and re retrieve feeling like you're playing the game or fishing in real life. Uh, or you get to throw it in spots that you see fish jumping and you uh, catch that fish. Hey, we got a bigger bluegill. Oh, wait, no. I thought we caught a bluegill. I might be losing my head. All right, so 12 bucks. Oh, yeah, we did, because this is in the personal record. 12 bucks for that one. And now it's, it's one shy from the shiner, and we got 12 bucks. Am I not paying attention to the inches? Hold on. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm not going to do that because I want to see if it will show me. Ah, anticipation. But yeah, you get the fish uh, like you would normally fish in the uh, real world. Uh, you only see his hands. You only see the reel. You only see the rod. You see the line. Uh, you can tell if it's uh, floral, mono, uh, floral, mono, braided, or I think that's it. There's only like three types of lines in here. You get to see the color of it. That's cool. Um, you get to see your drag. You don't. I don't think you really want to know the distance because how far you casted it out. You just want to know that you hit that spot that you see that fish jumping or you see things going on. Um, I can tell you because I don't see it happening now at the moment. Um, the fish that were jumping. Let me see. Let me see if I can get one on film here. I know there's like one that pops in over here. 
or that little dude there. there he is maybe the film got it i have thrown something there uh not saying it was here but i did try it because okay back in when i actually played this game i saw the fish jump and i thought wow that feels just like the normal game what i'm going to do is i'm going to cast it to that spot i cast it to that spot i don't know if i caught the fish that jumped out but it made it feel like i actually caught something in that spot so that's the thing so i cast it to that spot reeled it in i caught it in that spot and i don't know if it was that exact fish but it felt pretty cool because I threw something in that spot and it actually came back to be a fish that I, you know, was whatever I was going after for that particular time. I didn't know if it was the exact one, but I caught a fish right there. I was happy with it. So it kind of did have that uh, little perk that I enjoyed. I don't know if I'll be able to try that again. I'm assuming when it comes to lore casting... That will be the way to go about catching that fish. We can try it, see if it still holds up to what happened back when I tried it. Uh, so that would be cool. But yeah, so you get the experience, the feeling. Um, you can't walk on grass, right? Yeah, you can't walk. Yeah, you get restricted. So you can't really walk on that, which is fine. I don't think anyone would want to walk through that, except if you're going to actually... Oh, and you get to see the fish come out here. That, that's what looked cool, too. So you see him. He caught a fish. Reeled it all the way in. And, yeah. It brings that nostalgic feeling. And then you can walk up to him and be like, Hey, buddy, how's your catch? You know, kind of deal. Uh, so let's move a spot. Um, it doesn't seem to be explaining why. But we'll just move a spot. We, we can take a walk before we uh, end the video because we're almost done this. We only need this mission. We only need to catch a golden shiner. That's it. And we've completed number one of the exploration for Lone Star. And I think once we catch this one fish, we can call it quits on the video clip for right now. I don't know. I have to double check everything. Yeah, it looks like we're good on time here. So yeah. Basically, wait for your fish to bite, grab a bite to eat, or drink your morning coffee like I am. <laughs> Enjoy it. Like, it feels like it's a normal experience. That's what's pretty cool about it, except you have to sit in your chair. Uh, maybe you have a gaming setup as well, like I do. I actually built my gaming setup, so this isn't, like, one I bought somewhere. I actually built PCs, so this is my stuff. And as you're looking at the picture and the quality... Uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that's actually a really nice setup. Well, you can't see the setup, but you can see the graphics. So you obviously know if you want to play good games that have good graphics, you obviously have to match your equipment to your uh, game that you want to play. So as you can see, I got it perfect. It looks pretty good on even on the recording screen. Um, but yeah, if you want to know about that, you can. we can talk PC gaming, we can talk tech stuff. Uh, and that's another thing too why I like this game I get to uh, step away for a little bit if I'm doing uh, fishing that you'll see later uh, or you're waiting for a bite um, but that's up obviously with the, the drawback of what's to come if they explain it which I if they don't explain it I'll explain what I've learned um, and I'm sure if you've watched other people play this game either on Twitch, which is a streaming platform, or on YouTube, which is streaming and video, but mainly video uh, for tutorials and things like that, um, then maybe you can uh, learn from that. So this is what you get to do. You just watch and wait. And it really feels like you're actually fishing. I wish they would put like a chair in here. You can do a lawn chair sit uh, or something like that. But I guess that would take away, make you feel lazy. And I also like the way that the dragonfly comes. <laughs> Wait, what is wrong with this dragonfly? Wait, is that a glitch? I'm going to name you Freddy. Oh, wait, I got a strike? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did that strike not take my bobber anywhere? All right, so we caught another shiner. I'm going to move to a different spot. What do we need to catch? We need to use a golden shiner. Where would you find a golden shiner? I also don't even think I'm using the right bait. You know, let's just try tossing it. Oh, you see that? I'm gonna let's get that. Wait, wait. How do you? How do you? How do? 
reeled back in. I already had a brain fart. I wonder if I can catch it. Let's try it. Eh. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Move closer. <laughs> I just want to catch it in that swivel that I just saw. Oh, he's moving away. I don't even know if those are in... Wait, I see one. It came up. It was so close. Oh. Come on, I just want to catch the fish. I, I get it over with. All right, we're just going to play right there. So we'll just wait. I don't think that this fish likes worms, but apparently I'm catching the other shiner, which if you remembered me explaining how the fish works uh, and bait-wise, um, it said only dough balls and semolate. I don't even know how to say it. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Uh, salmonella balls? I'm going to call them salmonella. I don't know why. Uh, but they're like bread dough. So it's like a dough ball. So I don't know. The the, the preferred baits is always inaccurate. It's just weird. And there's also one that has a preferred bait that's in this lake right now that it's going to have me try to catch. And I've experimented with every lure slash bait on there and it didn't even work out so it's a bit weird but i i guess maybe you know there's certain things that you have to do or to try to do but i haven't had any luck with it so uh hopefully it lets us explore that but yeah i'll pick you up once i get a bite for this fish it seems like it's taking a little bit here Oh, I didn't even have a recording on. Oh my god, this is welcome to the brand new edition of Sean. Oh god, I can't believe I didn't even have my recording on. Uh, anyway, my name is Sean. If you are wanting to know, but the channel is obviously named different. Um, so yeah, <laughs> little hint there. Um, yeah, so uh, call it Green Sunfish, but then I have my vocal on so air already for rookies uh keep man we're filling this fish keeper net oh we got level three okay oh yeah and those pop-ups for the uh packs i just ignore because they get on my nerves but those are those dlcs i was talking about they keep giving you these pop-ups or packs uh new level three 1500 credits one bitcoin we can go go to the new pond lesney villa fishery in shizak sezak says says Cizek. Cizek. i don't know <laughs> i apologize if you're from there uh there's a lot of names that think of things that don't really come out to us over here uh but anyway we got new reels uh new rods uh, this is a ground rod or a bait casting rod so you your normal bottom fishing rod i would say um that's what this is and if you if you are into surf fishing you can see how some of the i think surf fishing has mainly these and normal spinning rods come with these. You can see how it's broken out. It's normally for spin bait casting or bait casting for bottom fishing. And it looks like we also got a rod for casting and that's about it. And then the two, this reel would probably go with that because it's a bait caster in the sports fisherman world. Uh, and we got another fish keep net, the S plus. It's like talking about iPhones nowadays. Oh, we got another one that we've unlocked. Okay. All right. This is a tele... I think this is a match. No, wait. This is match, I think. This is ground or bait. And then this is telescopic. I'm assuming this might be a match. I don't know. I still have to figure it out. But I don't think matches have these. I think this is a match. It's got more flexibility carbon in, that you can use for bobber fishing and things like that. Uh, we get a rod case. Nice. Hobby here. Okay. Another reel. Crimson cold. I'm assuming this is ground bait. So ground bait is the probably explain out. I won't get into detail. A vest, Floraline 8 double XL. Remember that is not king. <laughs> Seven, 18 millimeters. Okay, that's a diameter. That's the type of line. Uh, I can't even read that. 0 0.008 though. We got a liter. Okay, and another mono liter. 0 0.04. Oh my god. Four thousandth of a mono liter. 
at five thousandth of a monoliter. Okay. Um, now we got a spoon as well. We got a one sixth ounce number two hook and if you remember the number two hook is obviously the bigger the hook although it looks kind of small in this picture but we got a one sixth ounce if you remember my explaining of uh, the rods uh the rods have a holding of what lure that they can use oh we got it in silver and gold same hook same size oh mini bass jig one third ounce and then number one hook another bass jig i kind of like that that's a traditional one that i have in my tackle box at home i don't know if it's the same size though pearl barley I don't remember pearl barley. That's a new bait. I've never had pearl barley when I first played this and I went through the tutorial and then I went about being my own self. I'll explain more about that. And we haven't been to the shop yet, so I'll show you that. Uh, cheese, and eh, cheese. Did you say cheese every once in a while? Number two hook. So obviously we have the one and the two. Two is our biggest one right now. Uh, slop spoon, six of an ounce. Uh, number four hook. Okay, so it's a bit smaller for that ounce nice oh we got a number four hook so we got a two four oh chubby chubby oh chubby in two different colors single bell okay this would be for your bottom fishing you can put this on the top of your reel uh some people in the real world actually do use this but more than likely this isn't used unless you are one of those that use it but normally you can tell by the rod bend because you normally would let the fish take your bait and then run with it and then you'll see the rod bend and you'll know that you got a bite. Uh, sometimes it's not always the case if you're surf fishing because it could be the waves crashing on the bar and we can explain more. Hopefully I get to take you on an IRL video, uh, but we'll find out. Uh, an open feeder so you can put a feeder attached to your bottom rod and you can put bait in it to attract them like chum. So that's what that is. A sinker. I haven't even used this to be honest. So hopefully there's a time where we can actually use this. A uh, sinker, half an ounce, nice. So we can get out there deep. Didn't we just get this? I swore we just got this. I must not be reading this fine print, but we got. I swear we got that. I didn't see this one. Okay. So we got a lot of leaders. Got a lot of everything. Jeez. All right. Well. This is now becoming a longer video than I expected. I will pick you up on the next one, but these are all the same recordings pretty much coming from the same day. So I only get three days off because I just got off work. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Uh, there's going to be a lot crammed into three days, so probably a lot of uploads. For right now, it's just me making the videos and then I'll get around to uploading them. But I'll explain more on the next video. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Hope you had fun watching. Um, hopefully you learned something. I mean, there's not really much I can explain right now because I'm holding it back just to uh, wait for it to catch up. At least from my experience of playing the game. But yeah, so I'll pick you guys back up and we'll go in a little bit more. Hopefully we, once we finish this last shiner, uh, we can uh, go into more detail about other things. So we'll see where it picks up. But I'll let you guys go. Have a good day and thanks for watching.